Well, and those roads are in some rough shape in a lot of locations this morning. The good news is, though, latest look at Future Track. Watch this. Going into 8 and 9 o'clock, I think we're pretty much done, at least with the accumulating stuff across mid Missouri. That's not to say. Again, a few lingering flurries won't be out and about toward the mid to late morning hours, but by midday, it's all south of us at that point. The clouds, though, are going to be a bit of a different story. I think they're here to stay throughout our Friday. So, again, melting is going to be a little bit of a slow process in terms of some of that. So the road conditions, that's where, again, a lot of folks paying a little closer attention. As we go into the next couple of hours, we should start to slowly but surely get out of some of those slippery roads. And I think it's more so this afternoon where we can see a little bit better condition. So if you got to wait until then, that's certainly what we would advise you do as we get into that sledding forecast. Maybe that's what we're waiting on doing is waiting for those roads to clear up to maybe head over to Stevens Lake Park later this afternoon. Temperatures going to be in the low 30s later on today. It's going to feel like the low 20, so maybe not doing any of that sledding, just doing some of that good old fashioned shoveling. Got to layer up as we get into this afternoon. It gets worse, though, tonight. That wind chill is going to fall down into the single digits and pretty well into them. I think a lot of us going to be right around zero for that feels like temperature by Saturday morning. So stuck in the cold, at least to start and really to end our Saturday. But things are trending in the right direction. We're going to be swinging those winds out of the south, and that is going to improve things quickly by Sunday. We're in the upper 50s and low 60s across the board. And... Doing even better than that as we get into next week. We do have some rain chances. They're fairly slim on Monday, but I think we'll take that trade off. If that means the 60s are here to stay, it could be getting up around 70 degrees by the middle of next week.